If there's a place that lays out in stark terms the discrimination faced by the Rohingya community, it's in a small part of Situé town. Aung Mingala was one of the first stops in Rakhine State for the UN Human Rights Envoy to Myanmar. I can't comment on it now because it's all on, on my reports and the previous reports. But after this uh, visit, I will be uh, presenting to the Human Rights Council in March, and by then I will come up with another report. The government doesn't recognize the Rohingya as an ethnic group. They're regarded as illegal immigrants from Bangladesh, though many have lived here for generations. The Muslim minority here live segregated from the rest of the mainly Buddhist population since intercommunal riots displaced more than 100,000 people in 2012. For Nujan Begum, who has heart disease, access to medical care is limited to visits by volunteer doctors. I feel like I can't breathe properly, like my heart is going to stop. Since my children can't work and support me anymore, I'm praying to God to take me, for death to come. The Rohingya can only come and go with permission from the police and are accompanied by armed guards each time. People here aren't free to speak what's truly on their minds. We've had a plainclothes policeman tail us throughout our visit to Ong Mingala quarter. Many people are simply too frightened to talk to us. Reports of atrocities against the Rohingya emerged after soldiers launched a crackdown in response to attacks on border posts in October. The UN says 65,000 people have crossed the border into Bangladesh to escape the violence. Survivors tell of murder, rape and torture by security forces, with the Malaysian Prime Minister alleging genocide in Myanmar. The Myanmar government spokesman told Al Jazeera over the phone that most of the allegations from the international community are false, and now it's clearer and easier to identify fake news. The Rohingya have suffered discrimination and persecution for decades. Lee's visit is highlighting their plight once more. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Sitwe, Myanmar.